Hey, good morning. Happy Friday. Happy end of week two. Last day of this week of our training. So originally before we left for our trip, um, for our cruise, the leaders and I, we kind of decided what our topics were going to be for the week. And mine was overcoming objections because the goal of this week is that you have been inviting to the business opportunity. And I want to get real with you. I've said this before and I'm going to say this again, is that if we want to move our businesses forward, if we want to achieve these dreams and these, oh my gosh, these things that we absolutely 100% deserve, you deserve these things. By the way, you deserve to be successful. You deserve to be a diamond coach. You deserve to have financial freedom. You deserve to be able to make decisions in your life with freedom. Um, with a weight lifted off your shoulders without having to worry about debt and money. You deserve that. You deserve to be able to give your family options. You be, deserve to be able to invest money in your children's passions. You deserve that. You deserve to be able to wake up in the morning and be excited to live your life. And you deserve 100% to be a business owner, a successful business owner. So let's just get that out here in the open really clearly and right off the bat is that you deserve all of these things, okay? But when it comes down to it, those things can't happen without a team. That is, that's, I just want to be real. We've said this and I'm repeating it again. You cannot have these. You cannot build a successful beach buddy business without a team. That only comes from recruiting. That only comes from inviting people to join you on your team. So this week we wanted you to make sure that every day you're inviting at least one person, like full-fledged inviting, like you're not like, hey, so-and-so, how's it going? And hoping at least there, you're flat out just inviting. Okay, so I just wanna be real and say, and take a moment and ask you, did that happen? Has that happened? If not, then get caught up. By the end of this week, you should have sent at least five inv invites, and that's like so bare minimum. Okay, so let's make sure that we do that this week. Um, and so getting to you know the point of overcoming objections, I'm really going to put a couple of things out there. I want to move on to something that I really learned and, and just, oh man, I was ready to receive this information while I was on the cruise, so I want to share it with you. And um, below this, I'm going to share Melanie Mitchell's video on overcoming objections because she actually has a script and she has wording on how she overcomes certain types of objections. So I'm going to include that for you so you get some great information, some wording that you can use. But here's the thing is that I was thinking about this. Um, every single one of my current diamond coaches, star diamond coaches, they all said no to me in some way, shape, or form. They either said no to Shakeology, they said no to a challenge group, they said no to working the business, they said no to leading a challenge group. You get it. They said no to something. But obviously, they, they all eventually said yes. They all eventually said yes. So what led them to their yes? It was me never giving up. And I don't mean nagging or bombarding someone. It was me never giving up on me, on my dreams, and believing in them and their dreams. So when we are getting no, we never give up. We continue past the no. We move past it. And we say, that's okay. Maybe the timing's not right for you now, but it, is it okay if I ask you again next month? Is it cool if I follow up with you? Or I just keep moving forward myself. I don't get hung up on, I did not get hung up on waiting for Erica to say yes to Shakeology. I didn't get hung up on waiting for Megan Harrell to say, yes, I want to work this business. I didn't get hung up on the one person that I felt I needed to move my business forward. I'm not operating the I's and the me's and the my's. I can't do this in this business. I have to keep my eyes open. I have to keep my eyes open all around me because if I would have just focused on Erica, I would have passed up Sarah and I would have passed up Megan, and I would have passed up Jenny. I would have passed up other people. If I would have just been waiting for Jenny, maybe I wouldn't have been able to ask other people because my eyes were only fixated on them. 
And so when we're working on diamond and we need just that one person to get emerald or we need just that one more person on my left leg or I need these two people over here, these two awesome challengers in my challenge group to say yes and then I'll be there. We are limiting our growth. So that is one of those lessons I've learned early on and over and over is that we have to be pushing past the one. We have to be looking beyond the one person that needs to make a decision in order for us to move forward because it's not just about them. And we will limit our growth if we limit our vision, if we limit our sight in front of us. We have to open it up and we have to be able to see everyone around us because if I was only focusing on Erica and waiting for her to get to Diamond, I would have left out a lot of other people along the way. So we can't do that, my friends. We have to open our eyes and look all around us and see that there's opportunities everywhere and that people are waiting on you to believe in them and to ask them and to pop the question. They truly are waiting. Most people are looking for an opportunity to grow inside and out. Most people need an opportunity to gain more financial freedom in their lives. We have an answer to that with the Team Beachbody coaching business. This is a business. We have that opportunity for people. So don't lose sight of that. So when someone tells you no, I want you to say, okay, that's cool. Maybe the timing's not right. And then continue the conversation. That's my general rule. If someone says no and we have to continue the conversation past the no because the no's do become yeses. Because like I said, every diamond and star diamond on my team has given me no at some stage or multiple times in this business. And if I would have stopped there, man, I hate to see where things would have gone. But the last thing I want to share with you is this concept of leaning in. And I want you to think about this as we move forward. Cheryl Sandberg actually wrote a book called Lean In. And it's a guide for women. It's a business kind of book for women. And I read part of it. I don't finish a lot of PD books. I start, I kind of get something from it. I need something more and I move on. But Lean In was great. But this concept of leaning in, I was, it was, remi I was reminded of this concept by Summer and Chad Tucker um, when I had dinner with them on the cruise ship. And leaning in means multiple things. And I love the way that Summer um, shared it with me. But the way that I think about it is that leaning in means leaning into your fears, leaning into them, not cowering away from them. And that's what we have to do on this quest to build this amazing business that we know is absolutely possible, is that this morning we may have woken up and we were kind of fearful of getting those no's or getting those objections, but we have to lean into them because once we get that information out in the universe, those seeds have been planted and positive things will happen from there. If we just get the courage and the bravery to lean in past the fear, then wonderful things will happen. And I hope you trust me on that. So I really want to challenge you to think about what fears are holding you back so that you can lean in past those fears. Because we cannot move forward, we cannot grow if we are scared of those objections, if we're scared of that. And the second thing I really want you to lean into is lean into the stories that are there to be heard. I want to hear your stories. I want to hear what's driving you, what your past and, and what you're working through, what you're working towards. If I hear those, it gives me so much inspiration and motivation to do this video for you and to listen and watch your post and hear what you have to say. But can you lean in a little bit closer for your challengers and the people that you're having conversations with? Can you lean in to listen a little bit more? Because if you listen, a little bit more and you wait, if you listen and you wait for the information and you stop talking, you're going to hear someone's story and you're going to hear what's in their heart and you're going to hear what drives them and where they need your help. Lean in and listen and wait for the story that someone has within them. And that's how you are going to help them. If you lean in past your fears, and you listen, you wait, and you hear the story, okay? So future diamonds, you know what to do. It's here, you got it. And I want you to lean in a little bit closer this weekend 
And next week, we're really going to ask you to lean in and really make sure that you make this goal happen. It's your decision. It's not mine. It's your decision whether or not this happens for you. You've got this. I totally believe in you.